Hey there guys. So today we're going to do a short video where I'm going to take you guys for a ride into the city of Scranton to show you the location of the red carpet inn that I filmed late last year. That was the hotel that closed down, was set to be demolished, and I was able to do a full walkthrough exploration of it before it was gone. So I want to return you to that site and show you what it looks like today here in May of 2022. So we're going to hop on the Varla Pegasus and take a ride through the city. This section of the Heritage Trail is nice because there's a nice access point which will take you up to Lackawanna Avenue. Ah, uh, smell that fresh blacktop. Since we're in the vicinity, we're going to make a little detour before we head to the Red Carpet Inn. We are going to make it right here and go down to Steamtown. And we'll take a little ride through the parking lot. And when you enter the parking lot, the first thing you greet it with is Union Pacific Big Boy 4012. Now one reason I wanted to bring you here is just to give you a reminder that Railfest, the weekend of June 11th and 12th, is returning this year. And it's gonna be their first Rail Fest in two years, so. If you guys have been meaning to come to Rail Fest here at Steamtown, it's going to be a great opportunity. And I'm looking forward to it very much. I attend every year. I've been going since pretty much 2012 or 2013. And if you like things related to trains, then it will certainly be something you want to attend. And there's two new things for this year. There's going to be free admission for Rail Fest both days. And they're also having in conjunction with the Scranton Iron Furnaces some demonstrations there with iron pouring. So you'll be able to kind of do a two in one. But this is just a quick glimpse of some of the things you'll see here at Steamtown for Rail Fest. Not only their static equipment, but some new things that come for the weekend as well. All right, so now that we got Steamtown out of the way, let's head into the inner city and make her way towards the former Red Carpet Inn. All right, so we have arrived and the site is pretty much unrecognizable. So I'm going down the alleyway here and on the left-hand side would have been the two-story building with all the rooms. It is pretty much a level site now, except for where the main building was, there's still a bit of a pit there. 
coming up on the left hand side behind this dozer and this wall is where the swimming pool was. So it is no more. So the pool was here, the main building was there where the pit is, and then the row of rooms came out this way and went down to the left here. But we'll go around the other side where the front would have been the sign and the main entrance. So right here, there's a concrete base. That's where the sign was for the red carpet in. And the building would have been right behind here. Right here in front of us is would have been the driveway. And the main entrance would have been right over here. So this whole sunken down area is the main building. They had that big creepy basement that went forever. Power still on the building. The main level was the lobby off to the right. Restaurant to the left. The bar was right in the middle, right in the main entrance. And then the rows of rooms went off and the pool was on the back side. So if you guys haven't seen that video, I will have a link down below in the description. And I did share at the end of that video what the plans are. And the plans are for the owner to build a 17 story building. And it's gonna be a combination of, I believe, apartments, retail, and other things but it's gonna be the i believe the tallest building in scranton when it's built yeah here's uh the parking lot too for the guests so it's, it's kind of like overflow parking straight ahead of us here where the concrete or the blacktop ends and the dirt begins that's where the building was with all the rooms And at the edge of the blacktop here would have been the back side of the building, right where the main lobby, the check-in counter would have been. So that is your update on the Red Carpet Inn. It was one of my better explorations and it was fantastic to have full permission to go there and explore it. And the power was still on. We saw some also old things from when it used to be um, prior names uh, with different hotels. I think it was the I think it was a Holiday Inn and maybe a Howard Johnson as well. Can't be for certain, but it definitely changed names throughout the time. And now they're just kind of filling in the lot here and gonna prep it for construction. So when the new building does get constructed, I'll bring you back for another update. But yeah, that was uh pretty much it for this little tour here. Now I'm actually going to head and take a little ride for myself, but I'm going to end the video here. So thanks for stopping by to take a little ride with me to see the update of the Red Carpet Inn and to hear about Railfest, one final reminder of it. But I am excited to get out and just enjoy the rest of the day here. So hope you guys have a fantastic time. Thanks for watching. And until next time, everyone, I'll see you in the next video.